Now at 11, this might surprise you, but the leading cause of weather-related deaths in the United States is extreme heat. There's a new proposal, federal proposal, to protect the around 36 million people who have to work in it. New Sixers Treasure Roberts joins us in studio tonight. And Treasure Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill back in April banning local heat protections for workers. Yeah, Ginger, and the decision was highly opposed by the Florida Farm Workers Association. They said without heat protections, workers' health and lives are at risk. That's why President Joe Biden today announced new actions his administration is taking to address that. Heat waves are scorching states across the U.S. The rise in temps can be a threat to communities. But extreme heat is the number one weather-related killer in the United States. More people die from extreme heat than floods, hurricanes, and tornadoes combined. Tuesday, President Joe Biden said his administration is working to protect workers and communities from the impacts of intense heat. The White House says farm workers, firefighters, and construction workers are disproportionately impacted by extreme heat. Biden's administration says hundreds of workers have died and thousands more are hospitalized each year. That's why the Florida Farm Workers Association called on state legislators to provide them heat protections back in May, after Governor Ron DeSantis signed House Bill 433. The law prohibits local governments from implementing rules requiring firms to protect workers from extreme heat. And I've seen uh, Governor DeSantis explain uh, display cruelty. I don't think it can be characterized as anything other than cruelty for communities of color, um, immigrant communities. That's Ernesto, a member of the Florida Farm Workers Association. Also because I think that they view our communities as expendable labor force because there's so many of us mm -hmm. here looking for work, work that American uh, citizens or residents will not do. President Biden has asked the Department of Labor to issue the first ever hazard alert for heat. It aims to reaffirm that workers have heat-related protections under federal law. The Department of Labor also plans to provide information on what employers should be doing now to protect their workers. This, the hazard alert will provide information on what employers can do to ensure employees are aware of their rights and include protections against retaliation. Matt, Ginger. Treasure, thank you.